Kia ora and welcome to today's video. Um, today I am reviewing the um, Aquamini um, set by Sennelier. Um, it's got the colours on the back. This is just a box. I've already used it once before in a painting. I added some colours to it. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to use the main colours that came with it. And um, I will be using the brush it came with. It's a bit small for me, but I will attempt to use it. Um, I've got this one as backup just in case by Princeton. Um, this is quite nice and soft and fluffy. And then it doesn't really have a mixing area, so I've got this little porcelain palette right here. Um, I'll show you the painting I did with it beforehand. Um, <laughs> it's this one right here. It's a spoon bill. Um, with a cute little background. And then I've got the colours up the top, which I'll show later on okay so i've already sketched out um the painting that i want to paint so it's kind of like this landscape um it doesn't fit all in the view of the camera so we're gonna have to improvise there um oh my god this brush is so tiny <laughs> um yeah um i didn't write anything to do again sorry there's a fly in my room it's, it's quite annoying <laughs> Yeah, I hope everyone's doing well. Um, I go back to school quite soon, actually. It's way too large. And, yeah, I'm not looking forward to going back to school. I've got a lot of stuff to do and not much time to do it because... We've got the actual exams coming up and I haven't studied during the holidays because I've just been enjoying them and yeah they're creeping up. Anyway this palette um I just I bought it ages ago um because I want to try as many different professional sets as I can um to see what brand I actually enjoy using and what works well for me. Um, this photo I took, well, my sister took for me, oh, no, I might have taken this one, um, while my, while we were driving to Rochero, this is by National Parks, this is the mountain back here, um, and these are power poles just kind of going through the landscape, they go on for ages, and they're huge power poles, um, this is along the state highway one. And yeah, um, it was quite a nice photo because I've got the sign, which is just something else to look at, which is always nice. This paintbrush is way more smaller than I'd usually go for. Um, that's okay. This is in the same Winsor & Newton book that I've used before, and this is actually the same tape from the um, other video, which is actually on the other side of this painting. Um, I've used a red uni ball pen to outline this. Um, the uni ball are just my go-to, um, pens at the moment. Um, just because of how good they are. <laughs> and I really enjoy just using them. My phone's on quite low storage, so I'm just hoping it doesn't run out in the middle of the video. That would be so bad. <laughs> Um, I might just let that fly out and open the window. Just give me a second. Okay, the fly's gone. It's left the building. And hopefully it doesn't come back. Um, this is kind of like an earthy landscape. It's quite brown because I'm pretty sure yeah you know, the um in New Zealand there are like honestly five different environments well heaps of different random places and environments and kind of biodiversity in just the most random places like this is in the middle of the North Island and it's just so random it's like bruh <laughs> when you just like farmland a minute ago 
but it's pretty cool. It's definitely unique, especially since New Zealand's such a tiny place. It's also quite brown, this landscape in particular, anyway. It's much more of a green brown than I was going for. Um, the red is very pigmented in this set. Um, that's for sure. But, yeah, it's not my go-to. Like, I've used it once and I'm like, ah, oh, I still prefer Schmincke. Um, that's definitely my go-to brand. I also have recently bought the Daniel Smith Dot Chart. Well, I got that for my birthday along with the, um, M. Graham set. And so I was thinking of maybe, do like, swatching them on some cotton paper because on the dot chart they're not very well executed especially like with granulation which I was looking for I couldn't really tell if they were granulating or not I think it's the paper's fault so I'm gonna re-swatch them out on some paper like this one except the bigger book excuse the aeroplane it's quite a loud aeroplane <laughs> but yeah um this brush is so so tiny. God damn. Um, no, no, it works, which is the main thing. I like how long the bristles are, so it's kind of just holds more water. I feel and it's like easier to just, I don't know, brush stuff along. Like if I want a long, like big stroke or something, I can go sideways. Um. Anyway, a bit more green in there, I feel. It's a very beautiful picture. Um, quite happy I was able to get it. Because we were just driving, and I was like, oh, I might as well take some photo references, just in case I want to paint anything. I was like, oh, this is kind of stupid, but no, no regrets. It's a good decision. The greens, I'm not a big fan of, like... I'd have preferred like a phthalo green or something just to make I could mix green so many different greens with that one green. Um, but no, you use what it is. Um, and uh, the greens aren't that bad, but they're not that great. Like I don't reach for them. Like I'll just mix my own if I want a green. The grass is so kind of dry in this photo. Um, sorry, you can't see the photo. But, I mean, this is kind of what it's looking like. <laughs> um, plus, I don't really like the idea of you guys compar comparing what the photo looks like with what this looks like. Because it's just my interpretation of the photo. It's not going to be like a... Oh, it's a bit too much. It's not going to be like an exact replica of the photo. Ooh. That's quite pretty. But yeah, um, it's getting there. And now the mountain, it's kind of like a blue kind of haze to it. Maybe a bit of the blue with a bit of the red. Yeah, that looks alright. Maybe that was a bit too much red. <laughs> there we go. I keep touching the paint with my palm. And so now I've got like half the paint on my hand. Um, but that's okay. We don't need to talk about that. It's mainly the green and the brown. That's getting there. I was thinking, of, I, I'm still not sure, I like, don't know how often I'll be able to post, because I've got study and stuff to do next term, it'll be very full on, so I was thinking probably around Christmas time, around work and everything, but it'll just, we'll have to see how it goes, and um, instead of doing product reviews, because I don't have, like, it looks like I've got a lot of paint, but... I mean, I do, I have more than you need, but, like, I don't have infinite, and 
it is expensive and I just wanted to buy this paint to see if I enjoy the brand and buying mini sets and small sets that you're like oh no I don't like this or like oh yeah this is really good I might have to buy more it's quite good um, but yeah, I will run out of paint to review, so I was like, oh, I could do some soy time photos, paintings, or, um, I really can't wait to do a seagull on camera, <laughs> the monochromatic one I was on about, because that is so fun, they take ages, but they're so fun, and I love them, and I hope you guys love them too, well, you guys don't know what they look like, but. Yeah, um, they started in Rotorua because I bought like one tube of the De La Rani. I've said this in my previous video. One tube of the De La Rani. Oops, sorry, the camera moved. Um, it's literally just on a paper towel with a um, glass bottle holding it. And it's like leaning up against a rubber. So it's like, um, <laughs> but skeptical. Red. Um. Yeah, I don't know where my parents are at the moment, so I'm like just hoping they don't come home randomly and just interrupt this. They might. <laughs> they have. Um, yeah, I think I might just stop with the grass and go up to the mountain. Because I'm really not sure how much space this camera has. Because I'm just recording with my phone. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the grassland. Mountain has that same colour up there, that kind of purpley blue. Um, and that goes a little bit up the mountain. It's like kind of spring, so there's still snow on the mountain. with the bottom here so it's a colour it's kind of like a blue a bit more up there and then maybe a bit of that blue I really like um, the blue the set comes with this kind of cerulean blue is beautiful And then maybe a bit of yellow on some sides where the wind's not rough. Um, I don't really paint mountains <laughs> or snow because I don't really have any. Um, I usually paint stuff that's green, so this is not green at all, basically. Um, yeah, so. But yeah, that's turning out alright. Should probably do that pole. Just been leaving it. Same grey. And maybe a bit of yellow on the other side of that pole as well. Oh, that's touched the table and my paint went all over the table. Oh no! <laughs> I'll just clean the table up after. Um, now for the sign. The outline is definitely a black kind of colour. I know some people are against using black, but I'm like, well, if I've got it, I might as well use it, you know? And I've got it, <laughs> so I'm using it. And I already, I do know how to mix it if I need it. But I don't want to waste my um, colours, French Ultramarine or Burnt Umber, just to mix the colour I've already got, you know? It's a bit more blue than I want, though, but, meh. Now for the sign itself, it's... Ah, oh, the plane's back! <laughs> kind of like a orange, but not an orange. So I've just mixed an orange anyway. My mixing palette at the moment is a mess. I think that's much more of the colour I was going for. I'll paint 
paint over that later. And then the wind frosty, that's also the same kind of colour. Um, now for the sky. Well, there are clouds as well. I've got quite a bit of that cerulean and the French ultramarine. Mix them together and you get like a sky colour. <laughs> um, that's the cloud. And then the cloud. The sky up here. Just adding a bit of water to water it down. And then this beautiful blue. Like, I love the blues in this set. And the red. The red's very, very vibrant. Um, and I am enjoying using it, which I think is the main thing. It's a bit of fun. Like, I don't reach for it that much like I've got palettes that I want to finish off before I just get buy new like use my other stuff um but they're very close to being finished and then I've got another one like I bought a palette for like three bucks and it's I filled it with some of my professional paint and I'm like well I filled it up might as well use it you know but yeah so that's kind of the sky and then those things that aren't coloured in are clouds. Clouds. <laughs> um, I'm just going to water down this grey I've already got. Like, yeah, stuff like that. A little bit more over here. Usually I don't outline it, and that's probably my mistake here, is that I outline the clouds. I don't outline them well, I just like roughly put some lines around. So I was like, oh, there's kind of where clouds are. A bit more down here. Maybe a bit of French ultramarine. A bit too much. <laughs> and maybe a bit of the yellow. Oh, too much yellow. I have pre-wet the colours, by the way. Um, which is a good thing, but also it's kind of hard to get the right consistency now because they're so pigmented. Um, but yeah, it just makes them very vibrant and stunning and easy to use. Like... Um, yeah, they're just so much easier to use, which is the reason I rewet them. Oh, the concentration. Frost. Stick. There's a pen. I've got dyslexia, so it's like, hmm, what did I mean? Like constantly looking at the photo, see how I spelt it. Um, it's almost done. Maybe the power lines. I think it's the last thing I want to add touches to. Not that much touch of it. Not that much of a touch to though. It's a bit of a power line, but it's a rough kind of hint of the power line. Um, I think that's a great place to end the video. Um, yeah. Um, thank you for watching. This is the finished result. It's not dry, but I don't mind. Um, I'll quick you, quickly show you the colour swatches I did the other day in my A4 book. And then I'll end the video there. Oh, there's the rubber. <laughs> so I've got primary yellow, French viridium, Cerulean Blue, French Ultramarine, Payne's Grey, Burnt Umber, Sap Green, and Halo Green Light. Um, thank you.
thank you all for watching and see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye.